Hello everyone and welcome to Cyberware. I'm Victor. Today we're doing a very different video from what we are used to. We're not gonna do a try hacking video anymore. Uh, I mean, in this video, uh, we will do something. We will uh, discuss about uh, a recent uh, hacker one. A bug which uh, I um, I got the opportunity to close in the in the platform meaning that um, finally the company the affected company reacted and they fixed it and they paid the bounty it's one of those bugs I have a bunch of them where like you lose hope Meaning, you report something, and then nothing happens to the bug after months, months, months. Some of them for years. Um, and in this particular case, I was surprised happily. I mean, I was very happy to find out like seven days ago that a company rewarded me with $1,500 for a pretty simple bug um let me let me change the screen a bit um i'm curious how to do that in obs to Yeah, so what's happening is OPS is um, OBS is um, taking over my Okay. All right. So this is what I submitted in May last year. Basic bug, like um, some buckets were available for registration. I registered them, and that was that. This is May twenty twenty two. I'm. Uh, not showing the details because it's a private program and uh, you understand all right then a few days ago as you can see they apologize for the delay they fixed it and rewarded me with and get this fifteen hundred dollars so this is the initial report um, and with the, um, the bounty now attached basically I'm informing them that in an asset that is in scope I can actually upload files and um, I uploaded three text files on three different subdomains they control it's not a subdomain takeover what's happening is um, in the code they are pulling some resources from some buckets like this is kind of second level uh, takeover but not to a subdomain how, how can I say this like imagine on your website um you are referring to a javascript file but that javascript file is hosted on an asset you don't control anymore so I, I took over that asset and then reported it and what made me very happy about this report is that um I wasn't expecting any more um, 
I wasn't expecting any more bounties to come out of that uh, to come out of that uh, type of bug like what I did in May last year I looked for a specific type of bug and all the assets I had found several very few report of the, all of them a lot of people said non-applicable or informational one company paid like two hundred dollars and one company very interesting went bankrupt while I was like between the time I reported and when they were supposed to pay and it was a huge international scandal but I can't mention the company because it's a private program and then it was this report where I had no nothing from them so basically these these are money which I didn't expect that kind of how did I find it well um, the tools are very basic like I used go spider to crawl uh, the things and then I used like I already had a list of assets the subdomains that's something else so I I spidered all these subdomains I got a bunch of uh, data on my computer not on my computer actually on the controller in the cloud but you get the point and I also got uh, gather all I use gather all URLs for all the subdomains and then ran go spider on them so I did that several times but I always made sure I stay in scope like uh, I was running scripts and I would always make sure I'm only parsing uh, URLs which are in scope and I managed to do this very fast and for millions and millions and millions of of assets thanks to something called Axiom Scan I will leave the link in the description this software uh, can stand up a fleet of uh, of virtual machines of programs and then you run a command and it splits the work across 100 IPs that you control it makes them do the work instantly and in two minutes you close all of them or in 10 minutes and it's actually very cheap and very fast to to start 100 uh, droplets in digital ocean or virtual machines or linodes in linode or whatever they are called in aws virtual machines or in azure so this is a very cool tool which is very helpful um, axiom scan and you can use it to um, with, with existing um, like out of the box with stuff that's already there like you can distribute fuff you can distribute nuclei you can distribute anything go witness and mapex or you can use it to or you can make your own modules and use it to distribute your own stuff so this is very powerful you can even use it to cheat like to vote on competitions imagine you you're basically you can control like you, you can repeat stuff from hundreds of IPs so if you if you catch and burp the the necessary uh, post request to vote in the competition and then you make a module for axiom scan you you start a fleet of 100 uh, droplets you run the command you vote you turn off the fleet you start another fleet of 100 droplets and every time they will have different IPs because these cloud providers have a huge number of IPs anyway um, I'm going away from the purpose of this but 
if you are doing bug bounty and you're at a certain level, you should look at the Axiom scan. It will change the way you work if you're not already doing that. Like if you're doing any any of the if you're using any of the modules here of the software AMAS, but this is something from Tom Noblon or Aquaton Asset Finder. Um, Chaos. This is from Project Discovery. Um, Dal Fox. DNS Validator. DNS X. Perros Buster. Love that. Any of these tools. FFU. FFF. Gal. Uh, anything you use. Go Witness. Hackcrawler. GXXS. Anything you use from one uh, machine. This can like make it work from hundreds of them and very fast and very very cheap. Sub finder. You need to try pure DNS, the brute forcing option from Axiom. Anyway, uh, so that's that. Um, you should open your email from time to time. You have a separate email like I do for. A lot of platforms I have separate emails. I don't know why. I, it's just something that I do. And sometimes I just don't open them because I'm taking a break or something from that specific thing. And then you get a nice surprise. You open the email and boom, $1,500. All right. Thank you all for watching. Please leave your questions in the description, in the comments if you have any. I'm going to put this link in the description. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.